Hi, we're back to present the maintenance section for the Classic Series Single Head Adjustable Pump. Before we get started, there's something that we need to cover, right Karen? That's right, Bill. Before working on a pump, always follow the complete safety and operating instructions in the installation and maintenance manual. And don't forget the required personal protective safety equipment. Use of this safety equipment is mandatory. In addition to the precautions that come with your pump, you must always follow the recommendations of the chemical manufacturer or the material safety data sheet and check local codes for additional guidelines. Preparing the metering pump for service can vary by application, but in general will consist of the following steps. Pump a compatible buffer solution through the pump for several minutes to clean the chemical from the lines. Turn the motor on-off switch to the off position, which is down or to the rear of the pump. Disconnect the suction line from the pump tube suction fitting labeled in in the pump head cover. Before disconnecting the discharge side, bleed off any pressure. Then, disconnect the discharge line from the pump tube discharge fitting, labeled out on the pump head cover. Unplug the power cord. If the power cord plug end has been removed, modified, or the metering pump has been directly wired, do not continue. Consult an electrician to aid in disconnecting the pump from the electrical supply and to properly reconnect the pump's electrical supply. The Classic Series motor is a gear motor, and the motor shaft with gear drives the feed rate control. Located in the gear case is the metal reduction gear and phenolic gear that control the RPM of the feed rate and pump head. The 45 Series delivers approximately 26 RPM and approximately 44 RPM for the 85 Series. The illustrations show the diameters of the gears and pinions. Generally, Gear failure can be caused by misalignment, mainly due to the wear over the service life of the pump. The following condition or conditions of the parts can contribute to the phenolic gear stripping. Water or chemical intrusion. Cracked bearing bracket. Worn gear post. Worn gear case cover. Rusted helical gear. Insufficient lubrication. To address the issues, Review the vertical installation that includes using a rain roof in outdoor applications or wet environments. Replace gears that show visible wear or corrosion. Replace gear posts that are worn, rusted, or corroded. Inspect the gear case and cover for cracks or corrosion and replace as needed. Inspect the helical gear at the end of the rotor. Buff off the rotor if rusted or replace the rotor assembly. Apply a generous amount of aqua shield to gear post, pinions, gear rings, and the main shaft with gear after doing service in the gear case. To replace gears, disconnect power to the pump. Separate the feed rate control and pump head from the motor. Remove the four Phillips head screws from the gear case cover and remove the gear case cover. Remove gears and inspect post. To remove post, grasp with pliers and pull straight out. Wipe away old grease. Check for rust or corrosion on the rotor shaft and remove with a wire brush any visible rust or corrosion prior to replacing gears. Install the gear post by tapping with a rubber mallet until bottomed. Apply Aqua Shield on the new gear post before installing gears. Install phenolic gear and spacer.
metal reduction gear, and motor shaft with gear. Apply Aqua Shield. Reattach the gear case cover and the four new screws, finger tight only. The self-tapping screws must be backed in to locate the original threads before securing to prevent stripping the screw boss. We hope you found this demonstration sequence helpful and informative.